in this session we will discuss uh, uh, straight line graphs of chapter 7 from additional mathematics course for IGCSC and O level students uh, in this uh, session we will discuss the length of a line gradient and midpoints so the length of a line if they, we have given two points p and q uh, p is uh, coordinates of p is x1 and y1 and coordinates of q is x2 and y2 then the length between p and q is defined as uh, x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square at under root so this is the length of this between this point and this similarly for the gradient uh, this y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 so this is the gradient y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 so, uh, for the midpoint uh, we add this x1 and x2 here and divide by 2 similarly y1 and then y2 add and then divide by 2 so this gives a midpoint this midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so that's all well, these three formulas are very important uh, if uh, we have given a line this and its gradient is given as uh, m sin, then the parallel line would have the same gradient so if uh, the gradient of this uh, line is m then the gradient of this line would also be m if gradient of this line is uh, plus 5 so the gradient of this line would be plus 5 if gradient of this is 2x2 2, so the gradient of this will be would be 2 also uh, here we have a gradient for this line if the line uh, there is a perpendicular line on this gradient if the gradient given gradient of this line is m then the perpendicular line have gradient minus 1 over m so this is minus 1 over m so if we multiply these two gradients the resultant would be minus 1 if we multiply this gradient m with minus 1 over m the resultant would be minus 1 so this m1 this is m1 this is m2 and m1 and m2 are reciprocal to each other then the resultant would be minus 1 equation of a straight line is uh, written by as uh, strictly written as y is equal to mx or generally written as y is equal to mx plus c here m is the gradient and c is the intercept so this is m is the gradient and c is the intercept y intercept let's uh, start exercise 7.1 uh, we have to find the length of the segment joining this so this is x1 x2 uh, this is uh, x oh, sorry x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and we can easily find the uh, length uh, as we discuss in the problem this so for this uh, last part minus 7 and 7 is x1 and x2 this is oh x1 uh, y1 this is x2 y2 and we can uh, use the formula to obtain the uh, length of this line so similarly for the others this pqr that this pqr is creating some uh, developing some triangles and we have to determine that this uh, creates a right angle triangle or not if uh, it follows the uh, Pythagoras theorem then we can say that the lines are uh, that uh, these co coordinates uh, developing a uh, triangle uh, right angle triangle or not and uh, the two lines uh, gradient would be reciprocal should be reciprocal also should also be reciprocal so let's uh, start uh, exercise uh, 7.1 so this first problem 2 0 and 5 0 this is uh, x1 and y1 this is x2 y2 x uh, x2 minus x1 uh, y2 minus y1 and the result is start uh, 
last problem minus 7 7 5 minus 5 this is x1 and y1 this is x2 and y2 so x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 so this is x1 minus 7 so this is minus 7 so minus 5 minus 7 so this is on the bracket so 5 plus 7 is this and minus 5 minus 7 is this so this is 12 square and this is minus 12 square this is 144 and this is 144 this is 144 this, this is not point this is 144 144 so this is 288 and this is 12 under root <coughs> so this is first problem second problem we have given this and uh, we have uh, this x1 y1 x2 y2 and this similarly for others so if we take the distance between this pq so this 5 3 11 7 is used uh, like the previous one so this becomes 2 under root 5 and similarly for qr this qr we use the distance formula to get this distance for pr we have this now let's solve it and we see this pq pq square and qr square is equal to pr square so this is equal so this pqr is a right angle triangle similarly the other problems could be solved <coughs> let's say uh, this uh, question number three uh, where we have given a b and c and we have to show that a b c is a right angle triangle so we have obtained and this similarly and prove between this okay. so let's solve uh, question 5 and uh, in question The distance between these two points, this and this is 5, find the two possible values of it. We have given these two coordinates and the distance between P and Q is given. So PQ is uh, the distance between these two points, these two coordinates are given. So this PQ is equal to, uh, this is X2 minus X1 and this is Y2 minus Y1. So y2 minus y1. So this is y1. So taking square pq is equal to this 2a minus 6 square plus a plus 2 square is equal to 5. And taking a square on both sides. So this, this root will go out and this 5 becomes a square of 25. So on simplification this is 4a square 24a plus 36. This is a square plus 4a plus 4 is equal to 25. So this is 5a square. This is 20 minus 20a and this is 40. And similarly, this 5, 25 may be placed on the left hand side. So this 5a square minus 20a plus 15 is equal to 0. Uh, 5 may be taken out as a common. So this is a square minus 4a plus 3 is equal to 0. And on factorization, this is a minus 3 and a minus 1 is equal to 0 and a is equal to 1 and a is equal to 3 are the two possible values which could be placed here. So this is uh, question number uh, 5. Let's go to Question number uh, 10. <clears throat> or 9, sorry. Let's go to question number uh, 9. So we have given this P uh, A B. Um, 
read the question first and then solve. Question number 9, we have given this uh, point P to K, K is equidistant from A and B. This point P, so P A and P B would be same. So, we have to find the value of K. If P is a point which is equidistant, means having a same distance, P A is equals to uh, P B. If this equidistance means P A is equals to P B. The length of P to A and length from P to B is the same. So, we have to find the value K. So, <coughs> So, this is P 2K comma K A minus 2 4 B 7 minus 5. So, this is P A is given as this and P B is given as this. So, this is taking a square on both sides. This is 2 K plus 2 square K minus 4 square. This is 2 K minus 7 square. This is K plus 5 square and this is on the simplification we have obtained this on the other side we have this on simplification further and eventually we have obtained 18k is equal to this and 18k is equal to 54 so k is equal to 3 so this is the answer so this is uh, requires some simplifications so there is no more technicality it's more so, this is all from 7.1 uh, in the next session we will